Thank you. Thank you. I'm leaving with this challenging question. Um, uh, I think it, I think it's a tricky question actually, and and uh, I've been thinking about that um, in in earlier days of my professional life also, which was not regarding gentrification. Um, I would say the easy way out is legislation because it's quick and it's as somebody said it's, it's easy to administrate and it's uh, maybe easier to predict the outcome. I would say, though, that uh, voluntary actions are, in the long term, more successful. Because I think that people doing things out of their own choice, where they can see themselves, the benefits of what they are doing, is probably more long-lasting. And But this is a personal reflection. Uh, I think also that people that are doing things by their own initiative, often take a step further than what they would have to do if somebody tells you to do this. So, but I think it takes more time. And I think the process is more complicated uh, and longer. But in the end, I think it's uh, probably more successful. I think <coughs> the question is how to come to this end point. Um, in Germany, clear we had implemented the nitrate directive, so um, it's current law. But my organization don't have the people to control it. Um, and it's, the, it, it's the, the wrong attitude of the, it produced the wrong attitude of the farmers. They, they invest their knowledge and their competence not to be catched by doing something not. Huh? And uh, my opinion is also that I, I, I should not pay people to stop at the red light. So, so we, we, we need a new kind of... of, of um, I have two days ago I got uh, the information, we got the first feedback um, to the last reporting concerning the water frame directive. We are excellent. We are excellent country and we had a, 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 a a slope going down with utilization of, of groundwater and uh, subsurface water, and within two years, uh, between within the last 20 years and within two or three years, we are back to the old level. Uh, primarily due to conflicting legislation uh, due to the renewable energy law we have in Germany, where we had a tremendous increase of, of uh, energy maze. Um, what the, the water frame directive, they had a lot of money because uh, they got uh, uh, tax from the, the nuclear power plants for using water for cooling. And they, they took this money uh, to install a very dense advisory system. We, we had uh, 15 or 20 different advisory organizations uh, paid for advising uh, farmers uh, doing the right things. And uh, nevertheless, we failed because the whole system is conflicting. And the, the feedback now from the EU is that uh, we shall um, invent additional, and the, the, they are discussing now these buffer strips. We, they, they, up to now, they have been um, voluntary, but the EU is asking now our country to, to implement it in a mandatory by legislation buffer strip of two to five meters. So it's, it's a drawback in the whole system. It's a drawback concerning behavior of, of the farmers. It's a drawback concerning the self-responsibility of the farmers. It's a drawback for me as my agency because we won't have people to control all uh, the, the, legit, uh, legit, uh, all the, the, the